and Sarah and John Forky from Toy Story. We hope you're going to follow along with us because art is always better with friends. You need something to draw with. Marker? Yeah, we're going to use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home. So, Some paper and sell it to color with. All right, let's start. Cut. Let's first draw his eyes, and we're going to draw them towards the top of our paper so that we have room for his whole body. We're going to draw one big circle for the left eye, and then we're going to draw maybe a little lower, right about maybe right about there. And then I'm going to draw another one that's smaller right next to it. Yeah. These are his googly eyes. One's bigger than the other. <laughs> I like how crazy his eyes are. Yeah. Now we're going to draw the center or the pupil. I'm going to draw a, another circle. Let's see how it's close to the inside of the bigger circle. Now on this one, we're going to draw a smaller pupil, but I'm going to draw it more in the center. Now let's color in his pupils. We're going to color these in solid black. There we go. Now let's draw his mouth. And we're going to draw a smile underneath his eyes, but on the right, see how I went further past the eye? And then this, the end of the smile on the left is right below. Yeah, now we can draw the bottom of his mouth. I'm going to curve around in the corner, come down really far so his mouth is open, and then curve back in on the right side. Yeah. Now let's draw the center or the inside of his mouth. We're going to repeat that same shape but smaller inside. So we'll curve around like this and then back. Looks like his mouth is made out of Play-Doh yeah. or clay. Next, we can draw his eyebrow and it looks like it's made out of the same material, but it's red. So yeah. we're going to draw an upside down smile or rainbow line. Go up and then back down. Then let's draw another line just like that, but higher and match it right next to it. Then we can connect the left side and the right side with little curves. Now oh, we did it. Now let's draw the spork. We're going to draw the letter V right in the middle in between his eyes, but high above his eyebrow. I'm going to draw it a little taller on each side. There we go. Now we're going to draw another letter V, exactly the same size, same height and width on the left and also over here on the right. Yeah. And then one more on the right side. Then let's connect these V's together at the top. We're going to draw a little curve to draw the end of the spork, the fork part of the spoon. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to draw the outside shape or his head. We'll start up here. We're going to curve at the top and then we're going to curve down around his head and then we're going to come underneath his mouth and I'm going to do the same thing over here on the right side. Curve down around and then underneath his mouth. I love you. Oh, I like how big that got. That's awesome. <laughs> and it's totally okay that our two drawings look different, right? Yeah. They're both turning out awesome because the most important thing is to have food and to practice. Practice. All right, let's keep going. Okay. Now we're going to draw his body. We're going to draw or the handle of the spork. We're going to curve like this and then come down. And I'm going to stop about this far down. I love your drawing so much. You could go a little further, maybe down here. Oh yeah, you do the other side too. Curve down. Yes. Now let's draw the little clay down at the bottom that's holding his feet on. Right here we're going to draw a wiggly line that connects the left side over to the right. Draw a little wiggle. And then we're going to draw it coming out on the left. I'm going to draw a little wiggle coming down. This could be gum actually. Yeah. It, it looks like clay, but I think Maybe it's gum. <laughs> I'm going to draw a wiggle on the other side. Then we're going to draw a wiggle down here to connect this side over to the other side and then curve in on both sides. All right, now let's draw his feet. We're going to draw a diagonal line that comes out. Then we're going to draw the other side of his foot. We're going to start here and we're going to draw another diagonal line that comes out and look how it matches. It was right next to the other one. Yeah. And then let's curve around 
and connect those two lines together. Okay, let's repeat that same step over here on the right side. Draw another diagonal line out and another one that matches. Yeah, then we're gonna draw a curve to connect. Okay, now over here on the left, let's draw a short line down. We're gonna make his feet look thicker because they're made out of popsicle sticks. Then we're gonna draw a curve and a straight line that matches, see how it matches the edge of the first one we drew. Yeah, and we'll do the same thing over here. Draw a straight line down on the right side. Then we're gonna draw a curve that comes around and matches. He also has a little rainbow here, but we're gonna do that later when we're coloring. What are we missing? His arms. His arms, yeah, made out of pipe cleaners. Let's first draw two lines. We're gonna draw two diagonal lines right here on the middle of his body. This kind of went up and down. You could change his face and give him different expressions. You could also move his arms up and down because sometimes they're up really high and sometimes they're lower. Yeah. Let's draw a curve over here on the left and also over here on the right. Oh, it looks like a letter C. That's it, wrapped around his, his body. Then we're gonna draw a wiggly line that comes down and then back out. Then let's do another one that matches right next to it. Kind of like how we did for his eyebrows and his mouth. Then let's draw his hand. We're gonna draw a big loop. It's gonna come out and back in. <laughs> <laughs> That's one finger. <laughs> Then we're going to draw another one. It's going to come out to the left and then back in. They're so big. Yeah, they are big. They're little loops. So we're going to add the loops after we draw the figures. <laughs> then let's do one more loop coming down like this and back up. And you could really make, you could change these any way you want. Let's draw the inside of the first loop. I get to draw another shape on the inside of this one and another shape over here for the left one. Let's repeat that same step over here for his right arm. We draw a wiggly line that comes down and maybe up a little bit different. What's the next step? Draw the same line again. Yeah, right next to it. We're gonna draw the same line, just repeat it a little higher. Okay, now let's draw his fingers. We'll draw the middle loop first. Then let's draw the outside one. He's got three loops for fingers. Then we'll draw another one for the third one. And then the inside shapes so that they look like loops. And if we ever go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need extra time. And speaking of pausing the video, what's the next step? Color it. Yeah, we need to color our drawings. This part we're gonna fast forward, but at the end you can pause it again to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. All right, Austin, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring Forky. He looks awesome, all colored in. Now you guys can pause the video to match our same coloring. What did we use? Markers. Markers and also? Color pencils. Yeah, but you can use whatever you have at home. And we used markers for most of it, but we used a pink colored pencil for his cheeks. And also we used blue up and down his belly. It looked like scribbles. And then we also used white on top of our orange marker to make this little clay or gum look lighter. <laughs> We hope you have a lot of fun drawing Forky. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun and you could also add a background to your drawing to complete it. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, parents and teachers, take a photo of your child's finished artwork and post it on Facebook or Instagram. Also be sure to tag us in it at Art for Kids Hub. Did you know that we also have a website? You can find it at artforkidshub.com. It has more lessons and information about art supplies we love to use. You can also visit artforkidshub.tv to learn more about our awesome Art Hub membership. The membership includes exclusive lessons and our own apps so your child can learn art in a focused, distraction-free environment.